years at the water cooler or Jeff Bidette, that's his name. He was a transfer. From or the years. awkward guy that always tries to talk to you because you guys take the same bus at the same time. So hopefully you got some knowledge you can listen to because the Touchdowns and Tangent Show, we're like somewhere between barbershop talk. Um, and really interesting, sporadic um, conversations in an elevator. Yeah. With people that you don't that was, know. That was a good that was a good good um comparison. So you wanna start with your rant? Sure. Um I'm got to Sorry, I had to set you up. Go Thank ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Um I've gotten to a point where like, not a lot really phases me, like, attitude-wise. Like, if I see some dumb shit, yeah, it'll get me mad. I feel like you muted my mic. No, I, I, I muted my mic. You're <laughs> yeah, like, let me not, no, let me not blow this dude's spot up. Thank you. Up. Anyway, <laughs> so I was at the train station one on my way to work, Orange Line. This white lady, like, gives me the dirtiest look as I'm holding up the, the elevator for her and a couple other people. Like, I'm holding, trying to hold the door open because sometimes, you know, it slams shut. And I look down. I'm like, oh, she's a stroller. It's a baby. And I see, oh, no, it's a fucking dog. I'm just like, this bitch has the audacity to look me in my face with utter disgust and contempt. And you got a big-ass stroller that could fit two big-headed baby-ass kids in it. And you got a fucking tiny ass little dog. I was just like, I should slap the shit out of you. I should slap the shit out of a dog twice. And then make you slap the shit out of a dog. Just so you realize how stupid it was. How the hell are you going to have a big ass stroller like that in the elevator? I was mad. Honestly, I wish I would have never held the door open for that bitch. Um, excuse my language. But she really was being a bitch. Um, it just goes to show, like, once I left the elevator, though, I just let it go. Um, I listen to like a lot of meditation music as of late, and I'm really trying to like be centered and all that shit, whatever it means. Kind of just trying to, you know, find the right focus. Um, listen to some pretty dope music, but yeah, I say all that to say you just got to find your balance in life. Like when you feel like they, you're kind of in pocket with things, things are in a groove. That's when you really got to dig deeper to really just appreciate where you're at and know, like, you're moving towards a goal. At least I hope you are. You should be. That's kind of where I'm at. Just moving towards goals. I can see them. I know they're coming. I'm not so eager to where I'm missing what's in front of me and kind of overthinking things because I've done that in the past and it didn't work out. Uh, <clears throat> So I'm thankful for that. And... Yeah, listen to this dude. His name is Oren Major. O R E N Major. Like M A J O R. His album's called Black Privilege. That shit is mad dope. Yes, it's called Black Privilege, but it's still really a really great album. Especially a song called Ghetto Hymns. It's on Spotify. It's really dope. And that's it. Uh, love yourself and love each other. Unless you got family members that you hate and don't speak to. Then fuck them assholes. All right. So I guess that means it's my turn. And just to kind of build off of what Kenny said, over the past few weeks, we've been doing this. This is our second month streaming live on the Good News Radio Station app and website. And we've had our fair share of growing pains over the past couple of weeks. You know, we had the whole introduction gate. We had hang up gate. We had call gate. Which was just happened today. Yeah, I just called it call gate. But the point is, like Kenny said, it's just a matter of valuing where you're at. And this is only the foundation. We're only getting started. We're only building up from here. Same thing goes for, for every show here on the Good News Radio Station. Which is really why it's worth taking the time to download the app. And really just get listen and get some new perspectives on life and on every day. And just take that with you anywhere you go. But I don't want this to be a shameless plug of a rant. The point is, for this show, the Touchdowns and Tangents show, 
we're only getting better every single week. And yeah, we kind of ditch format. And yeah, we have the whole call te- technical difficulties. But the point is, we're only going to get better every single week. The other thing that I want to say, and I didn't really get to get get to this because I wanted to talk. I was saving it to talk to Chris. Hopefully, we'll get him next week. But over this past five days, I've really contemplated my Raider fanship for the first time probably in my entire life. And it's not necessarily because the Raiders haven't gotten good free agents because they pretty much set out free agency last year with the exception of Marshawn Lynch. And then a few years ago, but this 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 really reminded me of the Ron Bartell and Sean Spencer days of just like giving us false hope. Not just that, Worse than that, it reminded me of those days because I don't feel like any free agents are taking us seriously. And I think that's really an indictment of people not believing in Gruden, which is a fair thing. On top of the fact that the team is moving away in two years. So do you want to sign a three-year deal and have to deal with a year in Vegas? Do you just take two years? Like Those are negotiating things that you have to figure out. On top of the fact that, hey, they might even just leave Oakland after this season and not even prepare people because that's what's probably going to happen. On top of the fact that, as I said earlier, the caucasity of signing these white skill players that no one's ever heard of for, I mean, not absurd money, but not value contracts. So the point is, it. It doesn't make sense, and I don't know what what is going on in Oakland. And people in my group chats and people who are Raiders fans and Raiders experts, they're telling me they're not concerned. Chris is one. They're telling me to trust the process. But I'm tired of the process. I'm tired of it. I know Oakland's tired of it. I know Oakland deserves better than this. The Raiders deserve better than this. Raider Nation deserves better than this. We don't deserve to to sit out on the Dominica Sue and Eric Reed and all these different guys because they're characters. Bruh, the Raiders are characters. The Raiders are the characters of the NFL. If you're going to abandon that legacy because you're moving to Vegas, if you're going to abandon that legacy to sign 1990s style white football, like, are we moving to the wing tee? I don't know. If that's the plan, like, let me know now so I can go ahead and buy my Aaron Donald jersey and be a sellout bandwagon Rams fan like the rest of L.A. Yeah, man, this is the Touchdowns and Tangents show. I'm P.D. Camarillo. I'm Kenneth Frank James Barry. By the way, the number to call in is 323-900-0478. We probably should have said that at the beginning, but we didn't expect y'all to call in this week. Yeah, I think be- – I think the reason why I didn't is because we had a guest earlier, and then I I tried to set up a phone call guest later, but obviously that was a flop. Number so one, number one thing in radio, less is more. Sometimes we're so, going we're going to do better. So just trust trust the our process and hang in there with us. We're getting better every single week. Trust me. Other than that, you can catch us on Fridays on our usual podcast spot: Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube, Podbean. Um, and also for Podbean, download it. You can actually download it in the app, put your phone on airplane mode, and listen to it anytime. It's one of the benefits. That's any podcast app. Not like you can do that in Google Play and Apple. How podcasting. many people use Google Play? You? You got an Android? <laughs> I don't. I don't listen to podcasts out of Google Play. I don't. Bro, I listen. To, if I'm in the app already, I'm going to listen to it while I'm there. Bottom line is you can listen to it on the app anytime, especially the Good News Radio app. Um, yeah, we love y'all. Stay safe. And uh, don't take no shit off people if you don't have to.